Yeah, it's June first, so it must be summer, right? No, that's yeah, no, it kicks in today. Craw, you know, like that, a little right? chilly out there. It's funny, you know, so I did have a look at the numbers because sometimes the perception is that June is the start of summer. And as you mentioned, there's this strange term going around the meteorological summer. But realistically, on the West Coast, at the very least, our numbers show that September is the more summer-like month than June. Uh, in terms of precipitation, we get more in June than we do in September. I think it's 55 millimeters versus about 50 in September. And in June, on average, out of 30 days, 12 of them have recorded precipitation in September out of 30 days, only eight. And the one stat that really stood out to me was the bright hours of sunshine. What did I get here? It says 227 hours in June, 213 hours in September. So a difference of about 14, but the daylight hours, the potential for sunshine, yeah. it's about 130 extra hours in June and you're only getting an extra 13 of them being sunny. So we tend to get more cloud cover. Uh, what do you see for June? And then we'll talk about July and August. Well, starting with June, you said it when you talked about the stats. I think it's going to be a lot like what we normally see in June. Not super warm. There isn't a stretch in there, at least over the next 14 to 17 days, where we see hot weather. It's around seasonal. It's a little unsettled. We're going to see precipitation and fits and starts. So it gets off to an average start to summer, I would say. Yeah, it sounds about right. I looked at the NSEP models as well. They're, they're sort of steering it in that direction. Uh, what was quite interesting was the most recent issue of those longer range forecast models from the third week of May running through July and August. They are skewing quite a bit warmer than average and quite a bit drier for the second half of summer. So, you know, whatever water restrictions we're under right now, probably a good idea to stick to them so we can save that water for the second half of summer. Well, and I could see that happening definitely, Russ, where we start to see the pattern get back to a hot and dry summer, but it looks like it's going to take a little bit. Might be slow starting, but strong finishing, which takes us back yeah. to your point of a very nice September on the way.